Hey everyone, it's me, Ariel Adrian, and today we're talking about Fisherman Phineas Flounder's one and only amazing abalone seashell boy from the Lost Lagoon. It's a name that will take me far. Yes, that's right. It is Hunter Avalone. I'm going to talk about three videos here. The videos are coming out as transgender, the anti-LGBT community strikes back, and why I left the right. So the first video is coming out as transgender. The video is about Trisha Paytas and how her identity seems confusing in which she identifies the gay man. But the highlight of the video is when Hunter Avalon pretended to be a trans woman because he wanted to go shop with his friend and wanted a chunshin and shop at Sephora. Hi sisters, I am transgender. For the past three days, I've began feeling like a woman. This all happened when I was at the mall with my friend. Because no straight man goes to the mall with another friend. To make matters worse, I suddenly felt called to go into Sephora and shop for makeup. Then I realized I had no friends and I really badly want attention. And that's when it came to me. That's when I realized that I am in fact transgender. I've always preferred White Claw over Bud Light and Sometimes I even enjoy the occasional One Direction song. All these signs have shown me that I am a woman. This is the real me. Please call me Sharon. And remember, it's ma'am! The video is like actually completely cringeworthy. It seems that he jokes about being transgender and actually seems to enjoy being it, like definitely. It's like he doesn't want to be a man. Hunter also reminds me of a trans woman from a new Mexican GameStop who yelled at a cashier. We're not doing credit. You're gonna give me my fucking money back. Excuse me, sir. There's a young man in here. Excuse me, it's ma'am. It is ma'am. I can call the police if you like me to. You need to settle down. You need to settle down and mind your business, okay? Ma'am. Once again, ma'am. I said both of you. No, you said sir. Once again, it's ma'am. I actually said both of you guys. It was a general. Right beforehand, you fucking said, sir. Sir? Okay. Motherfucker, take it outside. If you want to call me sir again, I will show you a fucking sir. It just seems that Hunter isn't a serious person and just wants to troll. The second video is the anti LGBT community strikes again. He seems to be an SJW trying to defend the LGBT community from the ridicule from the Christian community. He seems to call Christians God sims and seems to assume Catholic priests are pedophiles as well because they are too friendly to him. Look, before you get all offended and get your panties in a wad, this video is very clearly not an attack on Christians. I was actually raised Christian, and I considered myself a Christian up until a few years ago. I still have a lot of respect for Christians and aspects of their religion, so if you're a Christian, if you're a god simp, I don't care. Also, someone, anyone, please help me, because my Catholic priest has been a little too friendly with me. He actually ridiculed a pastor when he talks about telling the LGBT community to repent from their sins and his belief that the LGBT community is the cause of the pandemic. Our first little specimen is a man named Pastor Stephen Andrew. Andrew, who is pastor of the California-based USA Christian Church, has declared March to be Repent of LGBT Sin Month, a move he genuinely believes will save lives and the nation and protect from the virus. God's love shows it is urgent to repent because the Bible teaches homosexuals lose their souls and God destroys LGBT societies, Andrew said in a press release this week. I honestly feel like I could debunk this by just asking a few simple questions. First of all, why now? According to the American Psychological Association, LGBT people have existed for virtually forever. So why is God just now deciding to punish this unholy nation? Even more so, religious figures have literally blamed gay people for catastrophes throughout history. Well, I believe that the LGBT community does need to repent from their sins, but I think that all sin is the cause of this pandemic and that it is truly a chastisement from God for turning away from him, not just the LGBT community. I think that everyone has a right to their opinion and beliefs. He also condemns a certain pastor to blame the pandemic on abortion.
Shortly after, another pastor has blamed this pandemic on the legalization of same-sex marriage. There is a reckoning because the courts of the land passed a law to take an infant's life that it was okay and for marriage as we know it to be changed into something we have never known, he said. Both of their laws, biblically in Leviticus and Deuteronomy, are what God calls an abomination. And the Bible teaches us that God is long-suffering. He is not willing that any perish. He wants everyone to come to repentance, but there will be a time when the Lord says, Enough is enough, skippity-hee-haw. I hate it when this happens. I agree, abortion is an abomination. However, there are much better ways to argue that point from a philosophical, scientific, and medical standpoint rather than a religious one. Even if you oppose abortion for religious reasons, that line of argument never really works because all it takes is for your opponent to say, well, I don't believe in the Bible. And boom, your argument is dead in the water. It seems that Hunter Avalon is descending into scientism because he doesn't want to get into religion or argue against abortion. I'm going to show you the next clip in which Hunter actually twists the Bible to support LGBT. I mean, what happened to the verse, love your neighbor as yourself? Why are we instead cherry picking some Levitical law, which based on the original Hebrew, isn't even a condemnation of consensual loving gay relationships, to basically deny LGBT people the rights this country is supposed to afford everyone. Even more so, even if you consider yourself a Christian who doesn't agree with gay marriage, Jesus literally sat with sinners and washed their feet. Calling people attempting to peacefully live their lives an abomination is a direct contradiction to how Jesus would have acted. He thinks that the Levitical laws do not actually condemn homosexual sex, but they do. When Hunter said that Jesus sat with sinners, it is supposed to mean that Jesus sat with them in order for them to turn from sin, not for them to be obstinate in their sin. The last video that I want to review is why I left the right. I just feel like it's more like why I became an SJW instead of why I left the right. So the first part of his video talks about how he got a girl pregnant, who was his girlfriend, and now wife. It seems that he had broken up with her for a time. He also talk about how he was planning to raise a kid alone. He seems like he screwed up big time. He honestly got into a debate with Fosh and it seemed that he changed his position on LGBT. He seems to like want to have sympathy with the LGBT when it comes to gay marriage, which is like great matter. He also thinks that blacks commit more crimes because of socioeconomics rather than because of the lack of fathers in the home or media influence. He thinks that conservatism is about the enlightenment, which is partially true, but it's not the main thing. In reality, conservatism is about conserving tradition, not just the enlightenment. He thinks that tradition is somewhat oppressive, truly. He truly believes that the right is just an echo chamber when in reality it is the left that truly is. Have you seen how the left acts versus how the right acts? He seems like he doesn't often see that a lot of these scientific studies out there are politicized in order to fit an agenda and that there is truly a lack of intellectual diversity when it comes to the academy. In short, it seems that Hunter Avalon is just brainwashed into being a lefty in SJW, not that he was always like that in the first place. It seems like he lost that conservative fervor that he had a long time ago. Thanks everyone for watching my video and I'll see you next time. Bye bye